Good morning, sir. Today I'm going to explain project assignment on water pollution. I have submitted this file to Mr. Rajendeep Singh and it submitted by me means Deepinder Kaur of class 9B, roll number 5. So let's start it with the introduction. Water occupies a very large area of Earth's surface and is also found underground. Some amount of water exists in the form of water vapor in the atmosphere. Most of the water on Earth's surface is found in seas and in oceans and in saline. Fresh water is found frozen in the ice cap at the poles and on snow-covered mountains. The underground water and water in rivers, lakes and ponds is also fresh. However, the availability of fresh water varies from place to place. Practically, every summer, most places have to face shortage of water and in rural areas where water supply systems have not been installed, people are forced to spend considerable amounts of time in fetching water from far away sources. So, what is water pollution? Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies, usually as a result of human activities. Water bodies include lakes, rivers, oceans, and underground water. W water pollution results when contaminants are introduced into the natural environment. And it is contaminated by the following activities, which I'm going to read. Water dissolves the fertilizers and pesticides that we use on our farms. So some percentage of the substances are washed into the water bodies. Sewage from our towns and cities and waste from the factories are also dumped in the, into the rivers or lakes. Specific industries also use water for cooking in various operations and later return this hot water to water bodies. Another manner in which the temperature of water in rivers can be affected is when water is released for dams. The water inside the deep reservoir would be colder than the water at the surface which gets heated by the sun. All this can affect the life forms that are found in these water bodies in various ways. It can encourage the growth of some life forms and harm other life forms. This affects the balance between the vari various organisms which had been established in that system. Sources of Water Pollution some of the most commonly occurring water pollutants are domestic waste, industrial effluents, insecticides and pesticides, detergents and fertilizers. Some of the water pollution that is caused by direct sources such as factories, waste management facilities, refineries, etc that directly release waste and harmful byproducts into the nearest water sources without treating them. Indirect resources include pollutants that enter the water bodies via groundwater or soil or via the atmosphere as acid rain. Effects of Water Pollution Diseases in humans, drinking or consuming polluted water in any way has many disastrous effects on our health. It causes typhoid, cholera, hepatitis and other various diseases. Destruction of Ecosystems Ecosystems are extremely dynamic and respond to even small changes in the environment. Water pollution can cause an entire ecosystem to collapse if left unchecked. Next is eutrophication. 
chemicals in a water body encourage the growth of algae. These algae form the layer on the top of the pond or lake. Bacteria feed on this algae and this decrease, decreases the amount of oxygen in the water body, affecting the aquatic life there. Effects on food chain Disruption in food chain happens when toxins and pollutants in the water are consumed by aquatic animals like fish, shell, shellfish, etc., which are then consumed by the humans. Categories of Pollution Sources Surface water and groundwater have often been studied and managed as as separate sources even though they are interrelated surface water seeps through the soil and becomes groundwater conversely groundwater can also feed surface water sources sources of surface water pollution are generally grouped in two categories based on their origin so let's talk about point resources Point source water pollution reference to contaminate that enter the water from single ad identifiable source such as a pipe or ditch. Examples of sources in this category include discharges from sewage treatment plant, a factory, or a city storm drain. Non-point sources. Non-point source pollution refers to diffuse contamination that does not originate from a single discrete source. This type of cumulative effect on small amounts of contaminants gathered from a large area. A common example is the leaching out of nitrogen compounds from fertilized agricultural lands, nutrient runoff in the storm water, from sheet flow over an agricultural field or a forest are also cited as examples of non-point source pollution. Contamin contaminated storm water washed off of parking lots, roads and highways called urban runoff is sometimes included under the category of non-point sources. This runoff becomes a point source because it is typically channeled into storm drain systems and discharged through pipes to local surface waters. So let's talk about acid rain pollution. Pollution that alternates of plants surrounding pH level such as due to acid rain can harm or kill the plant. Atmospheric sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide emitted from natural and human made sources like volcanic activity and burning fossil fuels interact with atmospheric chemicals including hydrogen and oxygen to form sulfuric and nitric acid in the air. These acids fall down to earth through precipitation in the form of rain or snow. Once acid rain reaches the ground, it flows into waterways that carry its acidic compounds into water bodies. Acid rain that collects in aquatic environments loads water pH levels and affects the aquatic biota. So let's talk about the prevention of water pollution. The best way to prevent large-scale water pollution is to try and reduce its harmful effects. There are various small changes we make to protect ourselves from the scary future where water is scarce. We can save water. Conserving water is our first aim. Water wastage is a major problem globally and we are only now waking up to the issue. Simply small changes you can make domestically will make a huge difference. Better treatment 
of sewage. So treating waste product before disposing of it in a water body helps reduce water pollution on a large scale. Agriculture or other industries can reuse this wastewater by reducing its toxic contents. Use environmentally friendly products by using soluble products that do not go on to become pollutants. We can reduce the amount of water pollution caused by a household. Case study on water pollution in Delhi. Most of the rivers in India are not polluted near their sources. However, many are polluted in the plains because of runoff from agricultural land, discharge of industrial influence, and domestic sewage. The water of these rivers is not fit for drinking near cities and industrial areas. The Yamuna River The Yamuna is one of the most important rivers of North India. It passes through Uttarakhand, Haryana, Delhi and Uttar Pradesh. It merges with the Ganga at Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh. At one time, it was the lifeline for the people of the area, but today it is the most polluted river of the country. Though the Yamuna River starts getting polluted by pesticides and fertilizer as it enters Haryana, most of the pollution occurs in Delhi. More than 10 billion people live in Delhi, yet it does not have a proper sewage disposal system. 19 drains from Delhi opened into the Yamuna. At one time, these carried rainwater. But because of the poor sewage disposal system, water carrying sewage is distar discharged into these drains from where it finds its way to the river. In Delhi, along a stretch, the Yamuna is choked by the river Hackness, a weed. This is an example of eutrophication. Dead fish are also found in the river as soon as the monsoon begins. This is due to the sudden increase in pesticides and other pollutant levels. The industrial waste also find their way into the river from large industrial units. 22 in Haryana, 42 in Delhi, and 17 in Uttar Pradesh, and many small industrial units. Surprisingly, though Delhi constitutes only 2% of the catchment area, it is responsible for 80% of the pollution of the river. So thank you and have a nice day. And I have this collected this information from wikipedia topper.com and yourlibrary.com and my ncrt book of science thank you and have a nice day